Madagascar, situated off the southern eastern coast of Africa, is the fourth largest island in the world and boasts one of the most unique environments. But despite a wealth of natural resources, the country remains one of the world's poorest and heavily dependent on foreign aid. In the last decade, social and environmental changes have driven many people in Madagascar to increasingly migrate within the country and abroad in search of opportunities. In response to this situation, the IOM Development Fund has been providing support to the government of Madagascar to address particular areas of migration management. Climate change and environmental factors have long had an impact on global migration flows. Madagascar is one of the countries most affected by climate change, cyclically ridden by droughts and floods and battered by cyclones of increased intensity. The district of Ambovombe in the Android region is chronically affected by drought and famine, resulting in a daily fight to find food and water. Many people have had to sell their livestock and land and migrate to other regions to find employment. Those who no longer have the means to leave fall back to activities such as charcoal production, resulting in deforestation, whilst limited access to water obliges many to walk for kilometers to access a clean source. In September 2016, the IOM Development Fund, in coordination with the Malagasy Ministry of Environment, financed the project Migration, Environment and Climate Change to raise awareness on the interdependence between migration and environmental changes and has led to the development of informed public policy at a national and regional scale. Le ministère de l'Environnement, de l'Écologie et des Forêts souhaite à ce que l'étude apportera à Madagascar une base solide en termes de connaissances et de savoir et que les techniciens seront outillés et auront des compétences sur les thématiques. Labour migration has always been a reality in Madagascar but the number of departures increased significantly with the effects of the political crisis of 2009, when hundreds of thousands of jobs in the formal sector were lost. Neighbouring countries such as Mauritius, Seychelles and the Gulf countries became the main destinations for Malagasy workers employed in the domestic, textile, fishing and construction sectors. But the lack of a well-articulated pre-departure on-site, paired with return policies for labour migration, has led to many of these workers to be exploited due to irregular and uninformed migration. I'm going to work at Lille Maurice as a carpenter for the labour. The people who are going to work there are not going to read it, but there are contracts. So, how are their salaries? The contracts will continue for how long? Is there a person who can speak or an ambassador or a consultant like that? And then, when there are some problems with the people who work there, that means that they can't do anything. In 2015, IOM Madagascar, with the financial support of the IOM Development Fund, launched a project to strengthen labour migration management in Madagascar and ensure the protection of migrant workers and their families in national policies. La migration de travail, donc, il y en a qui, qui viennent ici à Madagascar, pourquoi pas, pourquoi les Malgaches n'ont pas le droit d'aller ailleurs Ce qu'a fait l'OIM, c'est de soutenir, donc d'appuyer, d'apporter leur contribution dans la réalisation de, de la politique donc, du gouvernement sécurisation, protection et de l'individu qui va là-bas et de leur famille qui reste ici. To reach this goal, IOM and the Malagasy Ministry of Employment 
worked hand in hand to bring all the governmental and non-governmental actors to produce the first analysis of labor migration in Madagascar. In February 2016, the project concluded with the development of a roadmap to ensure that by 2020, migration for the purpose of labor can be leveraged to benefit the country's development. Madagascar is a source country for trafficking in persons to other countries, primarily for labor exploitation of domestic or textile factory workers. It is also home to high levels of internal trafficking. Most of the causes of trafficking and exploitation are related to the poor social economic situation of the country and to a lack of information about the risks of being trafficked. Between 2015 and 2016, the IOM Development Fund financed a counter-trafficking project to raise awareness about the risks of being trafficked in Madagascar, Lebanon and Kuwait. Nous avons pu travailler à une campagne d'information et de sensibilisation au grand public qui a été diffusée sur l'ensemble du territoire national pour faire prendre connaissance aux personnes vulnérables à ce crime, euh, la réalité de la traite des personnes à Madagascar. Nous avons ouvert une ligne d'assistance dédiée aux victimes de la traite et euh, cette ligne d'assistance permettait d'énoncer une situation ou de pouvoir euh, porter euh, assistance. Thanks to the awareness campaign, many victims of trafficking contacted IOM to receive help and to denounce other cases of trafficking. Their biggest achievement was to regain their confidence and trust. Since its creation, the IOM Development Fund has implemented hundreds of successful capacity building projects worldwide. To learn more about the IOM Development Fund activities, please visit our website.